Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in again. Well, today what we're gonna get doing here is we're gonna take our Harmony Hub that we have here and our Amazon Alexa enabled Echo Plus here. We're going to control that Harmony Hub with our Amazon Echo using just our voice. What I am gonna show you additionally here in the video is a couple of things with the Harmony Hub that I think are a little bit difficult. The first being the fact that you know, as you create new activities there, you do need to update those with your Echo. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. I'm gonna show you how to change the friendly names. And finally, the last thing I'm gonna show you with the Hub is I'm going to show you how to create those favorite channels and then use those with your Alexa enabled Echo. So let's get going. All right, well this video assumes that you already have your Harmony Hub set up in your home. If you don't, I'm gonna stick our Harmony Hub setup video up in the top right right now and then you can head there, get that set up and then come back here. So what we have on my Android device here, you could do this on an iPhone just as easily or an iPad, but on my Android device here, we have the Harmony application as well as the Amazon Alexa application. So let's head in to our Alexa application here. And the setup process is actually really simple, but I'm gonna show you a number of different things here that you can do with Harmony Hub. So as we get in here, we're just gonna head into the menu up in the top left, and we're gonna go straight down to skills. Once we're into skills, we're gonna actually search for Harmony up at the top. We could go searching throughout the categories, but a little easier here. And then we're gonna top right click on enable skill. Now what it's gonna ask here right away is for you to log into your Logitech account. Now, this is what you use to set up your Harmony hub. I happen to use my Google account or my Gmail account. And so what you need to do after that is authorize. So what they're doing here is they're just conf they're starting the configuration process here for you. So what they're saying here is that I have multiple Harmony hubs set up. I actually only have one, but for the purposes of this demo, you can see I have a couple. You can only choose one of those hubs. So I'm choosing my second one with the four activities on it here. And then we're moving forward. Now, you can see all of your activities that you've already set up in your Harmony application. And of course, you could go and you could add more. And I'll show you how to get that to reinitialize if you add a new activity, how to ensure that that shows up on Alexa here at the end. But you can see that you can add other names. So you can say, Alexa, turn on my TV, watch a movie. I'm gonna add a couple here for my Nintendo Switch that I have. So I'm just gonna say, Alexa, turn on Switch or turn on Nintendo, and that'll turn on that activity for me. Now, I don't have any TV favorites set up, and so I'm gonna actually show you how to do that here. That's not necessarily something you do through the normal setup process of your Harmony Hub, so I'm gonna show you how to do that here later on in the video. Now, essentially, that's it. We're now ready. You can go ahead, tap on Link Account, and you're ready to go here. Now there is one important part that I'm gonna show you right now. After you click the X at the top of your Alexa app, it says discover devices. Now right here, this is important for you to push at the end of this setup process. And I'll show you where Logitech is actually telling you to do this every time you have new activities. So what you'll do is you'll come in here and you'll disable the skill, you'll re-enable the skill, and then it'll give you this prompt to discover devices. Do tap on that. It'll come up saying that it has none found, but just go ahead and do that. Now, like I said, I'm gonna show you inside the Harmony app here, I'm going to show you how to set up your favorite. So we're gonna go into Harmony Setup, and we're gonna click on Add Edit Devices and Activities. And then we're gonna scroll down to favorites. And here you've actually gotta put in your postal code or your zip code if you're in the US. And you can just tap search and then it'll show you all the different providers. So you just go ahead, you choose yours, and then you tap the arrow up at the top. And now all of the channels are here 
within that service. So I thought that was actually pretty incredible. Now, you can go ahead and you can just star the different channels you want. So I'm going to star Roger Sports Net West. That's kind of where I am here in our country. And then once I have all of my favorites selected, I just tap on top right on the arrow again. And you could set a starting channel. I don't really want to do that. I don't want to always shift around channels. Now, it's always a question I get, hey, what can I do with this integration? I think this is pretty important. So here are the things, here are the commands that you have access to. So you can turn on a TV, an Xbox, an Apple TV. You can roll through favorite TV stations. You can state specific names here for specific channels. So you can name them by name. So ESPN or Discovery Channel, if you have a favorite that's for sports, you can say that. You can go by channel number as well and you can control through channel up or channel down. Netflix, Hulu, those can be turned on immediately if you have those activities set up. And then as well as that, you can deal with your volume. So you can actually jump up volume or jump down volume. There's also a pause and a skip forward control here. And of course, you can turn everything off with a couple of different commands. As I said earlier, this is a really important part. So if you want to, number one, add activities, or you want to update your activities, or you want to change your friendly names, there's a process here that Logitech actually gives you for going through that. So they'd like you to head into the Amazon Alexa app and then they want you to go into the skills and find that harmony skill again. And like I said before, just disable the skill and then enable the skill. You'll have to re-sign into your harmony account. And then, like I said, you get that prompt for discover devices. If you don't get that prompt, you can just ask your Alexa enabled device to discover devices again. Once you've created a new activity on Harmony, you have to again just ask Alexa to discover devices. That's a second function here that you have. So if you were to add a new Blu-ray player and you wanted to change that activity, or if you added a new Xbox, you didn't have one like I don't, then you could add that and that activity would be available on your Echo if you just say Alexa discover devices once that activity is set up. So there you go, I think we're all ready to go here. I'm just gonna show you a very quick demo. I'm just gonna turn on and off my TV really briefly here. Let's go through the demo. All right, well, there you go. I think as long as you remember that every time you add a new friendly name or a new activity there, I think you're gonna be just fine if you just go back into Alexa, disable the skill, re-enable, and then ask it to kind of rediscover devices there. So as long as you remember that, I think your hub's gonna be in working order for a very long time. Of course, if you have any questions here, this video didn't address how to set up the hub. We have a video for that already here on the channel. But if you have any questions in general, leave them in the comments below. Happy to help you guys out here as we continue on Automate Your Life. And of course, it always helps if you subscribe here. We're going to create more videos about both of these great devices here, helping you automate your life. So we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.